Hello, hello. So how's everything? Yeah, I cannot hear you, Raul. Good evening. Good evening, sir. So how you had a great weekend? Um, so good evening, Claudia, and then uh, Anna Yancy is already here. Nelson uh, Hernandez is uh, joining the audio. Mr. Baltasar Neptali. Hello, sir. Nice and Dolores, right? Hello, brother. So here we go. All right. So thank you for uh, activating the camera, you know. That's good over there. So just one second. Okay, so since, since this is uh, week number two, um, you know, I, I will speak a little bit more of English and I'm also going to speak a little bit uh, faster, okay? But I will speak, I will say, uh, I don't know, like 70% of, of the time, let's say English, and then the rest will be Spanish, okay? At least everyone, um, you should use or you should speak English uh, for basic things, okay? Like for example, when you say, uh, what's this in English? How do you spell this? What is the meaning, et cetera, et cetera. When you say like, for example, yes, you have to say that in English or when you say the numbers, when you say your name, you know, basic stuff, okay? Because if we don't use the language, so we don't really use, I mean, we don't really learn so that's, that's, you know, that's my philosophy, okay? So let me just get the right slide over here so I can um, start the class with you today. So let me just one second over here. Here we go. So uh, this evening I have a couple of announcements to give you, okay? So I need to uh, tell you some things over here, all right? And to start with, please do not get frustrated if you don't understand what I'm saying sometimes, okay? No se me frustra, verdad, si algunas palabras no me las entiende, pero yo estoy con toda la disposición para ayudarles. Y si no me entiende, dígame, me, me acuerdo la semana pasada, eh, César me dijo en una práctica, me dijo Spanish place, okay? Ya con eso basta para que le quite el envión, verdad, un poquito. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Así que no se preocupe. Eh, y se lo digo de corazón, ¿ok? No solo porque me están pagando o algo así, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, honestly speaking, no here. So, English Corporativo Beginner Module Number One. All right. So, this is the second week. And the date is Monday, February the 1st, 2021. I also remember that Raul asked me last week about these uh, ordinary numbers. Recuerdo que usted, Raul, me preguntó about this. And, you know, unconsciously, I'm, I'm helping you over here. Unconsciously, you know, with dates. Okay? With dates over here. So that's why. So yes, así, verdad? Bien cabal. You know, writing the, the date completely. <laughs> so that's why. No, porque solo le pusiera FERP.2021. But at least it's a new month. People call February el mes del amor y la amistad, but I don't know, it's just a month. <laughs> All right, to start with, as usually everyone, as usually, significa como siempre. That word of the night, 
Monday, February 1st, 2021. Is the Raul again? The no, the numbers and the date over there. <laughs> All right. So, for example, what's the name of the activity? La actividad se llama other ways to say. Es decir, otra forma de decir. So now you can say, for example, in one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven ways. Seven different ways to say, for example. Así que si usted está trabajando en los grupos pequeños, okay, en los grupos reducidos o, o llamados breakout rooms, over here, le puede decir a su compañero, for instance, esto se parece igual que en, en español decir, eh, por instancia, ¿verdad? Primera instancia. Por ahí más o menos viene. Pero immense, for example, all right? To give you an idea. Literally, it doesn't mean, for example, right? But you get the idea, obvio. O sea, to give you an idea no significa 100%, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, pero si sí ustedes introducen una idea. As proof, to illustrate, ¿ok? Le voy a poner un check mark eh, a los, vamos a hacer como un top three or un top four or maybe top five of the words that are, like, I would say, similar to, for example. Voy a hacer un top five de las palabras que son similares a, for example, o son como equivalents, you know, equivalents, equivalents. For instance, means 100%, for example. O sea, si usted dice, for instance, es, es un reemplazo de, de, por ejemplo, okay? For example. To illustrate, también, all right? And um, you can use also, let's say, but not really. <clears throat> This one, okay? A los que le puse el check marks, you know, the, the, the ones that I, I checked, I checked out uh, are the ones that you can use as uh, synonyms, for example, okay? Now you can say, uh, for example, all right, to give you an to give you an idea, and as proof, I'm sorry, to illustrate or or, yeah, basically or in particular, 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 all right, in particular. All right. So I guess you don't have any questions about this, do you? Do you have any questions about this? No. Yeah, I guess everything is clear. Okay, I guess everything is clear right here. So in the house, so far I have 14 participants and I'm just gonna mention your names just to say hello. So good evening, Cesar, David, uh, Douglas. So good evening, Eduardo, uh, Sanchez, Flor. Yeah, I saw you over there, but I didn't say hello. Hello, Flor. Good evening, Claudia. Mr. Baltasar, I already said hello to you. Catherine, welcome. And Mr. Raul, and Anayansi was already over here, as well as Nelson Hernandez, okay? Uh, remember that it's mandatory if your uh, connection allows it, o sea, si su conexión lo permite, to have the camera on, tener la cámara encendida, 100% of the time, or all the time. Si su cámara, <coughs> perdón, si su internet lo permite, actíveme la cámara, por favor. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's continue over here. Let's see what time is it right now. About 8.07. Nice. Uh, let's see. Cesar is in here. It's in the house. Nelson, Eduardo, Saraí, and Baltasar. So everybody whose, whose name is, is written down over here, it's in the class. Okay. I know Cesar is over here. So Cesar, you are listening to uh, this. This is for you. Nelson, Mr. Hernandez, this is for you too, sir. Eduardo Hernandez, this is for you too. And Miss Saraí and Mr. Baltasar Gonzalez. Okay. Remember, every Wednesday, starting at 10 o'clock, you have a one-on-one session. En español, una, una, una sesión privada o una sesión de feedback. In this... 10 minutes, all right? Uh, I can help you with the platform. I can help you uh, just practice in English, okay? Uh, I can help you by giving you tips 
or sharing resources, material, and everything. Si usted va atrasado en la plataforma, este es el momento en que yo le puedo ayudar. Okay? Si tiene dudas con cualquier cosa de gramática, I can help you out. All right? So, así que me van a disculpar y quizás no, esa no es la palabra, ¿verdad? Pero I'm going to keep on insisting. All right? Cada clase, unos dos minutos, yo le voy a hacer alusión a esto. Okay? Entonces, this week, el 101, es decir, la sesión 101. We have uh, César, Nelson, Eduardo, Saraí y Baltasar. Por ejemplo, César, you know, for example, if you are not able to join at 10, uh, 10 p.m. this Wednesday, alguien más, por ejemplo, que quiera estar, que necesite, ¿verdad? O algo, por ejemplo, no sé, Raúl, Flor o alguien, este se puede, como decimos, se puede reenganchar. ¿Ok? El cambio ustedes lo hacen interno y solo me dicen a mí. Y así yo le doy entrada a, a la sesión. Ok, 101. Aprovechemos la oportunidad porque en realidad sí, sí sirve esto. All right. Last time I only have two participants. Les voy a mandar esta imagen de captura al chat, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes la tengan. So don't worry about this. All right. This is just a reminder, by the way. Ok. Now let's, let's uh, go straight to the point. All right. Eh, and here we go. <laughs> yeah. Now, if there is, like, let's say, like homework eh, posted in the discussion tab in the platform, es decir, que si yo he dejado tarea en la plataforma, si usted se une, por ejemplo, César, si usted me hizo la tarea de discusión, ¿verdad? Que esto es extra, o sea, la tarea oficial. Es, son, son las, las homework que están en esta misma plataforma. ¿verdad? Pero imagínense, César, este miércoles, so this Wednesday at 10 p.m., you know, you and I you know, are just speaking English and then just uh, learning. The first thing I'm going to help you with is this. All right? Le voy a decir, okay, miremos eh, cómo estuvo su, su post. I'm going to give you feedback, you know, grammar. Uh, I'm going to give you feedback on punctuations and then you're going to practice etc. All right. Entonces, para que no perdamos tiempo right now, all right. Eh, I need you to go to the platform and get to this discussion tab, get a screenshot, and then be ready to share this information with your classmates. So right now, you're going to uh, practice this in a speaking way. All right. So because of the time, por el tiempo, Solamente tengo, quiero ver, tengo a Rocío, I have Eduardo, and I have Raúl over here. So uh, these uh, three uh, participants, these three friends information, all right? And because we don't really have the time, I'm just going to give you the feedback over here. Y since we are like among friends and among, I would say, uh, adults or grown-ups, if you give me the opportunity, I'm going to give you the feedback, you know, to everyone right now. Le puede decir cositas así de gramática, ¿ok? Entonces, but overall, this is a very good job, ¿ok? Uh, and it's just minor mistakes, I would say, or learning opportunities. Entonces tenemos, uh, Rocío, if you could hear me, please, could you please just read uh, this information for the class right now? Miss Pimentel. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, uh, hello, I am Rocio. I'm Rocio Pimentel. I work in. I work at In Urbano Express. It's a logistic company, and I am an operation manager. I'm in charge of special mailing delivery department. It's a very dynamic work. My email uh, address is uh, rp. A M E N T E L at uh, urbano.com. That is it's SB. And my phone number is seven six eight two four nine nine one. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. All right. So we, we will continue with Eduardo. Eduardo, if you're, if you're over here, and then Raul, and then I'm going to give the feedback. Okay, to everyone. All right. Eduardo, if you're over here, please, could you please speak up? 
Yeah, hello, uh, right. night, yes. everyone. Um, hello, I'm Eduardo Hernandez. I work at PDC Comercial. It is a sales company and I'm a financial analyst. It is a very exciting job. My email address is Eduardo H at PDC dot com dot SB and my phone number is seven seven eight seven one four five zero and nice to meet you nice to meet you too uh Eduardo all right and Raul please hello uh, good evening hi my name is Raul Melendez I'm 40 years 48 years old and my job is a custom agent in Loginter is a uh, it's upon the warehouse. And my work, I calculate uh, taxes for an import merchandise and inventory administrate for uh, many clients. And I meet a uh, many person. It's a uh, hard work, but I love the logistic. My email is r-i-u-l-dot-m-e-l-e-n-d-e-z uh, at L O G E -A I perdón N T E R dot com dot S B and my cell phone is six three one six three four one four. Nice to meet you everyone. Best regard. Best regards, Eduardo. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, Raúl. Best regards, Raúl. Yeah, don't kill me because I confused your name. Yeah, <laughs> perdón, me confundí su nombre. I know you're Raúl over there. Now you see, he gave. I mean, he shared his his age, which is okay. Now, um, now this is the type of feedback I'm going to give you. Okay. In the meantime, everyone, si tienen el, la facilidad, uh, uh, I would say log in into your uh, platform, go to the discussion tab, look for the sharing and personal information, and then just get a screenshot. Or si se sabe la información de memoria, you know, out of your uh, memory, just be ready to practice. No vamos a hacer la práctica como lo hizo uh, Rocío, Eduardo y Raúl in front of the class, porque nos va a agarrar Semana Santa, ¿verdad? No Navidad. <laughs> and that's not the idea over here. So, rapid, ra rápido, vamos a dar un poquito de feta. All right, everything is great over here. Yo creo que lo, aquí, ¿verdad? Eh, Rocío fue como un typo o error de dedo. In and at, solo uno se ocupa. It's only one, ¿ok? It's a logistic company, okay? Logistics company. I keep for order dedo. I know it's a typo. And I'm an operation manager. That's great. I'm in charge of. De hecho, el, el spelling the in charge of, it's different. It's not this one, okay? I'm going to give it, I'm going to share it with you in a second, all right? So, sorry. Se me fue fea la E. In charge. Es separado, all right? Va in y luego va charge. Ok. So, como niño de kinder me va a quedar esta letra. Uy. Cabal, ve. All right. Right. I'm going to send it, uh, uh, you know, in, in a second. So, I'm in charge. Right. I'm in charge of a special mailing delivery department. It's a very dynamic word. Dynamic. All right. Pronunciation means dynamic. My email address, and then you can say rpmentel at uh, urbano.com.sb. Okay, that's okay. All right. Unless you're speaking to someone who does not uh, uh, learn, that, that doesn't speak English, yes, you can spell it. Or unless people ask. Okay. So in real life, you're going to spell it if people ask you how to spell it. All right. Because you're not supposed to spell it just like this. But because you're learning English, that's what we're doing. We're learning how to spell. Porque estamos aprendiendo, lo estamos haciendo paso a paso, ¿verdad? And my phone number is, uh, and then that's great. And that's good, all right? It's, it's, a, great, it's a good job, by the way, Rocio. And then Eduardo. Uh, hello, I'm Eduardo Hernandez. I work at PC Commercial. Uh, aquí le pudo haber puesto punto, but that's okay. It is a sales company, sales. And then he says perfectly, lo dijo de hecho perfectamente, financial analyst. It's a very exciting job. My email address is, et cetera, et cetera. And my phone number is, that's, that was actually perfect, sir. All right? That's actually perfect. So good job, Eduardo. Hi, my name is Raul Melendez. I'm 48, 48 years old. And my job is a customs agent in Lodging, I think. 
es a it's a bonded warehouse, es decir, bodega, ¿verdad? Y aquí él puede darnos el, el, el término específico. In my work, uh, I calculate, eh, aquí esto no va, eh, la M no va acá, solo dice I'm happy, you know, I'm doing this, etc. ¿Ok? Pero nunca va a poner I'm calculate, I'm do, never, Raúl. All right. And then uh, a tax, uh, calculate, uh, y aquí como es más de un tax, va a poner solo taxes. You know, I work, in my work, I, I calculate taxes for, a, for a, an import or for import mer merchandise, ¿verdad? Si es como mercancía en general, le va a quitar esto, va a poner for import merchandise and inventory administrative uh, for, a, for many clients, ¿verdad? El A solo es para una cosa. Entonces aquí va a poner many clients, for many clients. And I meet a many person. Y conozco muchas personas. And meet many, many persons. Actually, it's not, uh, I would say, convenient. Eh, Raúl, you better use people, all right? People instead of persons over here. It's a, it's a hard work, uh, but I love the logistics. Aquí la I es en mayúscula. Logistics, eh, siempre lleva una S. Cuando se, se refiere a logística, lleva una S. Logistics, logística como una ciencia, all right? Like a science, you say logistics. My email is raul.melendez.logintor.com. That is me and my cell phone is, et cetera, et cetera. Nice to meet, nice, nice to meet everyone. Best regards, that's great, okay? Nice, good job. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very honest over here with you. So this is the type of feedback I'm going to give you in the one-on-one -on -one sessions, okay? Right now, this is just a sample, ¿verdad? Una muestra, sample, all right? It's just a sample. Questions so far? Me va a decir, José, hubiera puesto el mío. <laughs> ¿Verdad, Claudia? <laughs> eh, eh, una pregunta. Eh, yeah. Eh, Logística, o sea, logística como tal, eh, es, es lo, logistic. Lo, oh, siempre con es, la S al final. Ah, oh, logistics. Okay. Logistics, okay. yes. Logistics. Okay. La, I have y, a question. Yes, Douglas, go ahead, sir. Yeah, uh, what is the difference the, um, the word persons and people? People is the more... More than one or more than three persons? No, it's, it's the same, but we don't really say persons. We say people because it's like if you mm. say, Douglas, I had one child. O sea, tengo un hijo. Ah. Un niño, right? So I said, I have two children. So that's actually better. Pero también podría decir, I have two kids. Que es lo mismo. Yeah, kids yeah, yeah. and children are the same. But we don't really say persons. We say people. All right. Okay. It's not that it's incorrect, but it's not commonly used. O sea, no es comúnmente usado. So, eso es la cuestión. All right. That's, that's the thing. I right? use more, I use more um, people. People. Yeah. And also, person, persons is like more formal. Okay. Es más oh, formal. Okay. And then you say, come on, people, right? There's, there's a, uh, I think in the radio, there's a program that it's, it's called like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. Any other question you may have? Now I remember something. It's not. A, it's no. Uh, 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 I would say work related. When you say children, you don't say childrens. No, you say children, verdad? Niños. Y no le pone ese. You say children. Okay. It is in a plural or singular. No, child is solo uno. Ah, and children yes, yes, yes. is dos, tres o una marimbita, como decimos nosotros. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. O sea, entonces, en children es todo lo contrario. Es un término plural, pero no le pone la S. Pero en logistics, okay. aunque sea un término singular, pero le pone la S. You see, English is crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, let's continue over here. <clears throat> all right, so time for review, everyone. Time for review. Okay? Complete the conversation. Use the questions in the box. I'm going to send you to a breaker room for you to practice this. In here, I'm giving you the, uh, let's see, the options in the box over here. So what you have to do is just fill in the blanks, okay? 
va a complementar. Hi, how are you? Hi, are you Ashley uh, Nevins? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. And then you gotta say something here, Kevin Murray, etc. You're gonna practice in purse, but since, uh, ya que a veces, since, ya que a veces, since your internet sometimes is not working properly, I'm going to send you in groups of three, okay? Vamos a practicar esto. I'm gonna, uh, I will send this to you in a second. And then we will practice that, okay? We will practice this, uh, which is hello and goodbye, all right? Hello and goodbye, all right? Now, the images matter, okay? Images matter. O sea, que las imágenes sí cuentan mucho en esto. You have A, B, uh, C, and D. Number one is already done for you. It's hello and goodbye. Remember, last week we studied how to say goodbye and how to say hello. La semana pasada estudiamos both things. You know, we studied both things. So right now, you're going to practice this. Exercise nine and exercise 10 only. Okay. Nice. Uh, uh, let me just one second, please. Let me get the, uh, the, uh, the breaker uh, rooms open. Okay. All right. Somebody uh, texted, yo no entendí cuando dejo esa tarea, hasta ahorita me estoy dando cuenta y la puedo hacer mañana. Sí, claro que si alguien me dice que no entendió lo de esto, ¿verdad? Tipo 9 de la noche, voy a ir a la plataforma y voy a clarificar lo de las cuestiones de las tareas, ¿verdad? Así brevemente, ¿ok? Eh, para que quede claro. All right, so let me just one second over here. 16 participants right now, so that's a good number, ¿ok? Um, I gotta stop sharing the screen over here. And um, just one moment, please. Here we go. All right, so rooms are open. Go ahead, please, and join them, if you don't mind. Claudia, David, and Juan Carlos are together. Douglas, Catherine, and Raul together. Dolores, Rocio, and, and Flor. Uh, together, etc., etc. Cesar, uh, Mr. Balta, and Nelson are together. Okay. Let me just one second come over here. Hello, hello. Pero, 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 quiero ver, quiero ver. ¿Te estás hablando del primer ejercicio? Sí, el primero que mandó. Ah, ok. Sí, sería... Usted le, con, le uh, contesta Kerry Moore. Ajá. Uh -huh. What's your name? O sea, sería la primera opción. What's your sí. name? Uh -huh. Y ahí contesta Kerry Moore. Eh, luego, quiero ver... Sería... How, go, how do you spell your, how do you, your first name? Sí. Uh -huh. How do you spell your first name? Y ahí él le dice K E R R Y. Uh -huh. Luego, Luego se diría en How do you spell your last name? Que last sería name. le está consultando el, el apellido. M uh -huh. O sí el apellido. Uh -huh. M O O R E. Okay. 
Y luego le pregunta el, el phone number. What's your phone number? Qué largo, es, qué largo es este número, teacher. Es de Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Six, one. Siempre eight, tienen five, five, five. Five, five, five. Y de último. Seven, ¿no? one, two, zero. No. Uh -huh. Y en la vida teacher, ha, el, el, el area code. Ajá, yes, sir. How, how do you say el, el guión en inglés? Uh, you don't say it. No, no, o sea, no se dice, pero se dice dash. No, solo dash. se dice en los emails. Si, acuérdense que en el email, si no le pone algo, se lo rebota. No, ajá. Ah, y rejects it. Dash. Dash. It, dash. It's the D A S H. Correct. Dash. Dash. Ah, ok. Como los increíbles. <laughs> ok. <laughs> y la última sería, bueno, el, el, el email address. And what's your oh, email what's address? Your email address. Mm -hmm. It's K M O O R E 19 at, at, at this arroba, creo. At 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 c u p dot or o r g r g o r g. Ah, okay. Quiero ver la segunda. Vaya, eh, just one thing. But just when you finish this, try to practice as a conversation, please. Ah, That's okay. the idea. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, perfect. Eh, no sé quién comienza. No sé si comienzo yo. Y ahí tendríamos que poner. Hello again. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> where Hello are your, your Where are your headsets, uh, Raúl? Sus so, otros audífonos. Where are your headsets? No sé dónde los han dejado. <risa> ¿Dónde los dejó empeñados? <risa> ¿Dónde los dejó empeñados? No lo escuchamos. Ah, espéreme, espéreme. <risa> ¿Verdad? Ahorita, ahorita dice que está incompleto. Eh. <risa> De cabeza. Está bien, ok. Vaya, aquí estábamos viendo, teacher, cómo está el mambo. Dele, ajá. Vaya, entonces... Eh, ok, ok. Ahí está mejor, va. Eh, habíamos deducido que va, en la primera respuesta, bueno, la, prim en la primera conversación A y B ya está. En la tercera sería, oh, I'm sorry, eh, what's your name? Ajá. Y le responde, que Exactly, how do you spell How do you spell your first name? First name, correct. First name, uh -huh. yes. K-E-R-R-Y. Y luego le diría... How do you spell your you, last name? Your last yes. name. Last en, name. En, as you can see, Raúl, le, la, cuando le hace la, la segunda pregunta, después le dice, what's your first name, etc. Mm -hmm. And le agrega E. How um, do you spell your last name? Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. <coughs> yes, and then? Eh, um, M-O-O-R-E. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Um, and the next is, how do you, what is your phone number? How was your phone number? Exactly. exactly. What is your phone number? Mm -hmm. Y luego le dice, it's a 618 It always has number fives, right? Aquí, ¿verdad? Genérico. <laughs> <clears throat> Así que memorízaselos. <laughs> you say uh, the pizza hat. Uh -huh. The same for the pizza hat, right? <laughs> the same for, for, um, for claro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious over here. Nice. And then uh, Catherine, what's the last one? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. What's the question? Uh, and what's your email and address? What's your email address? Correct. Uh -huh. What's your email address? Yes. And then you spell it, right? O sea, la, lo, lo ideal es que si ya le deletreó el apellido y va en el address, so obviously you know how to spell it, right? Entonces lo dice de corrido, solo dice K Moore 19 
at cup.org. Entonces, no toda la vida usted va a deletrear, ¿verdad? Letra por letra. No, 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 no. Por ejemplo, I know that Raúl, that's your name. Y si me dice, so Raúl, uh, and that Melena. Uh -huh. pues, sorry about that. <laughs> Lo dejé así. Perdón. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Ad, cut, eh, punto se dice por dat se escribe dat. De, se escribe d o t pero se pronuncia como una a dat okay. casi como la certificación dat. ajá exactly exactly dat. o r g yes o r g lo que yo les decía la semana pasada era que aprendanse su nombre y su teléfono First and last name and your phone number and email address. Y ahí, ¿verdad? Porque de eso se trata. Es personal information. ¿Ok? Ustedes no okay. trabajan para una empresa que está en el teléfono toda la vida. Y gracias a Dios nos ganamos el pan. Ustedes por, por su parte en español, ¿verdad? <laughs> But English is always necessary. ¿Ok? Yes. It's necessary. So that's why. All right. So I got to go visit some of your friends. ¿Ok? So yeah. I have to go. Okay, okay. Just one second, over here. Aquí, yo, yo sí, yo sí tengo. Ah, sí, mire. Teacher, was not. Yes, I am. En la cuatro será. Good evening. <laughs> Nos puso la pantalla del. <laughs> sí, va. So sorry, you know, I left. Dígame. Eh, tengo la duda eh, si good night is for go to sleep or good evening is, is go to sleep. Good evening is you say hello. Good night, you say ah, okay. goodbye. Exactly. Ah, okay. Ah, pues sí, lo que dijo David. Yeah. Eso sería okay. good evening. When I, when I greet you, when I say hello at eight o'clock, you know, every, uh, I would say every night, I say ah. good evening. If I say good night, <laughs> salud, pues. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, that's why. Yes. Okay. Bueno, pues practiquemos esta yes. última. No sé quién comienza, chicos. Who starts? Okay. What's your Hello. name? Solo so le digo Carrie Moore. Uh -huh, Carrie Moore. Uh, how do you spell your first name? First name. K A R R. ¿Cómo era la Y? Why? 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 K E E R R Y. Why? And how, how do you spell your last name? M O O R E. Mm -hmm. What's your phone number? Is five one eight. Can you see it? Eight, eight, Six one eight. Six one eight, one, eight. eight five five oh. seven one two zero. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what's your email address? Address is K more uh, one night. At, 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 at C U P dot or dot O R G. Dot O R G. Una pregunta. Yes. En este, eh, en el email, uh, K Moore, eh, it's correct o, o, o tenemos que deletrearlo? That's a good question. Eh, de hecho, eso les iba a decir ahorita. If you know the name already and the name is part of the email, you don't have to spell it. Okay? It's not okay. necessary because you already know how to spell more. All you have to, to say is K more 19 at cup.org. If your domain, if your domain is unknown, o sea, es desconocido, yes, you have to spell it. Pero si es como uh, 
kmall19 at gmail at hotmail at outlook you don't have to spell that okay okay, okay. okay. yes all right so exercise number two right okay yes okay. Uh, hi how are you how are you Nelson, sí, utilizando la palabra del eh, paréntesis. Eh, eh, teacher. ¿Saben así? Los Hi. Sí, sería hi. hi. Uh -huh. Hi, are excuse you? me. Excuse me. Hi, how are you? Uh -huh. No, porque vamos a utilizar una de, los, una de no. las que están entre los paréntesis. Exacto. Es correcto, pero creería yo que termina con esta parte. How are you? Sí, porque utilizó el hi. Es correcto. Sí. Sería, hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh -huh. Y It's luego... Correct. I'm fine. It's correct. Luego sería, I'm fine, thank number you. Number two. Yes, and then number two. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. yes, see you tomorrow. Uh -huh. See you tomorrow. Uh, I just... Hey, excuse, number excuse, three. Excuse me. Yes, I am. Excuse me, no, 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 Good evening. No, good, good evening, evening is hello. Evening. Okay. So, uh, gentlemen, when I start the class, I tell you good evening. I don't tell you good night because I'm telling you hello. Okay. So be careful. Uh, we good, say, good, good evening. Decimos good night when we when we when we say goodbye. Eh, eso es la palabra, eh, perdón, la palabra good evening, eh, ¿cuándo se usa? Cuando saluda, no cuando se despide. Ah, cuando okay. saluda, okay. digamos, de tarde noche. No, independientemente. Eh, no importa. ¿Te puedo decir good evening de mañana? No, 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 exacto, o sea, perdón, es en la noche, good evening y good night es en la noche. Ok. Pero la diferencia es que good evening es para decir hola. Y good night to say, to say goodbye. Ah, o sea que okay. yo a las 10 de la noche los despido y les digo, say good night everyone. So have a great uh, night. Y sí, cuando ya nos vamos. Es And then next day, a las 8, so good evening everyone, or hello everyone. Ok. Ok. okay. okay. Eh, digamos, Adia. yo llego a un yo llego a un restaurante a una a las 8 a de la noche. Amistad, llego y es de noche. Son las 10 de la noche. Yo tengo que decir good evening. Good evening, exactly. exactly. No, good night, porque good night sería ya cuando nos despidamos. <risa> Usted va llegando y ya me voy. <risa> Entrada por ah, salida. Usualmente okay. eso hacemos. Entrada por salida. <risa> <risa> yeah. Sí, vemos caro. Yeah. <risa> All right, so, so gentlemen, try to practice this, please. Sí. Ok. Entonces sería la última... Uh, Good night. Sí, sí, no, no, no sería. No, eh, good evening. Good evening. Good, 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 good evening. Está saludando de noche. Está saludando. Oh, sí. Good ah, evening. Saludando. Okay. Entonces, eh, practice, ah, eh, please. Esa, Hi, esa. Uh, practice. Okay, please. okay. 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 Eh, si quieren, comenzamos nuevamente. Comenzamos con la anterior. La o con esta. La, la... Com completar las conversaciones usando las palabras en paréntesis. Hi. Y empieza a ah, hi. How are you? How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, thanks. Pero... La B, I am fine. Ok, la dos. Tiene que, tiene que ocupar una de las dos. O hello o goodbye. Ajá, uh -huh, yo digo... Uh, goodbye. 
I am fine. Yo digo que va goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Yes, because because they're they're telling you see you tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow. You say goodbye, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, number, number three. three. Uh excuse me, are you so me Kim? Yes, I am, sir. Say sí, yes, you are. Excuse me. And the last one. And the last one. Good evening. Hello. Exactly. Um, say yes. Exactly. Good evening. Yeah, when you say hello good. and then good night when you say goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're done over here. So let's go back to the main station, oh. if you don't mind, please. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yes. Here we go. All right, so Eduardo, if you don't mind, so you can practice, let's say, in a very intensive way with somebody else, okay? You're going to practice the two exercises with a partner. Is that okay, sir? When everybody comes back over there, okay? So just by looking on, uh, on my screen, you're going to uh, just go ahead, please, and, and, and tell the answers in here, okay? Let me just one second. I only have five participants, six participants right now. Okay. So we just gotta wait a couple of seconds over here. As I was telling everyone in here, if you already know how the, I would say the name in an email is spelled, you don't have to spell it out. All right, you just go kmoore19 at tup.org. If you know the domain already, you don't have to spell the domain either. For example, if, you're, if your email Eduardo is uh, uh, eduardo.ernesto at et cetera at uh, gmail.com, so that's how you say it, okay? So that's the point over here. So 16 participants. So Eduardo, you're going to be a uh, student A, and then I'm going to choose a lady over here. Um, if you, Jacqueline, would you like to help us? Uh, Jacqueline? All right, I guess she cannot hear us in here. All right, so I'm gonna choose a, a, a gentleman in here then, okay? Or... Yeah, I think she can hear us. So Jacqueline, can you hear us? Yes, there you go. <laughs> you were getting ready right here. So Jacqueline, you're going to be a student. Uh, let's see. A student B and then Eduardo, you are a student A. So go ahead, please, if you don't mind. Okay. Hi. Are you Ashley Evans? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. What's your name? Carrie, Carrie Moore. How do you spell your first name? Yes, uh, K-E-R-R-Y. And how do you spell your last name? Is M-O-O-R-E. Okay, and what's your phone number? My number is um, I just be <laughs> six one eight five 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 seven one two zero. Oh. Okay, and what's your email address? It's K more. All of the letter of teacher. No, K Moore. Uh huh. 19 at hood, uh, dot org. Yeah, the, the domain, Jacqueline, you can spell it, ¿verdad? Después de la arroba. At. Uh, at T U P dot org. O R G. O R G. Just to make sure. 
All right, so the next one you're gonna help us to, okay? So hold on, please. Espera mi momento, okay? Right. Uh, let me share the other one over here very quickly. All right. And here we go. How to say goodbye, how to say hello. All right, go ahead, please. Uh, let me go a little bit bigger. Yes. All right. Uh, okay. So now, uh, Jacqueline, you will be a student A, and then uh, Eduardo, you're going to be a student B, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Jacqueline, you start. Hi, excuse me. How are you? Eduardo? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. You gotta choose only one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Jacqueline, you gotta choose only one. Va a decir ya sea hello or goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Which one it is? Goodbye. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. All right. Now, Eduardo, you're going to ask the question and then uh, uh, Jacqueline, you will reply. Sorry about that, verdad? Okay, Jacqueline, you start number three. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Excuse Eduardo, me. Eduardo, Eduardo, Eduardo. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm no. sorry. Yeah. Eduardo, go ahead, please. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, are you so mean, Kim? Yes, I am. Hi, Eduardo. Uh, good evening. Hello. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you. That was good. All right. That was good. So, uh, Last time I said this, you say good evening to say hello when it's nine time. Okay, you go to a restaurant and then you say good evening, you say hi, hello. Instead of saying hello, in lugar de decir hello, y de noche dicen good evening. When you go, ya se va al restaurante, where you're leaving the restaurant, you say good night. ¿verdad? When we finish the class, every single night, I say good night and I say see you tomorrow. O sea que yo bien les puedo decir, okay, see you tomorrow, everyone. No es que sea falta de respeto, que no les diga good night, all right? But it's just one way to say goodbye. So es una forma de decir goodbye and another way to say hello. Like a song, right, from the, from the Beatles, right? That's a very good song, okay? And let's continue, right, with the class, because that's the idea over here. Um, let me just one second. There is more practice, by the way, okay? But right now, it's going to be individually, and it's a listening practice. It's a listening practice, okay? So uh, let me just one second, please. Let me get the right screen. So in that way, I don't get in trouble. Vamos acá. Va a ser un pequeño quiz, which I'm about to share with you. I'm sharing this with you right now through the chat, okay? One second, please. And um, all right, so I, I'm sending to you a, a link, okay? A material, it's a, it's a conversation, okay? It's a listening first, okay? It's a comprehension, listen. Uh, here we go. Did you get it? Is it working? Okay, thank you. Now I'm sharing the screen over here, but just to guide you through, ¿verdad? Solo para darle las indicaciones. And I'm going to share the screen over here, all right? But this one, it's individually, okay? This one, it's individually. So that means that I'm not going to play the listening for you, all right? This is customized, es decir, que está al gusto del cliente, o sea, que ustedes lo van a escuchar. <laughs> you know, using your device in here. But uh, let me just one second. Let me share the screen just to uh, set everything in context in here. So it's this listening exercise. It has a lady, you know, with some headsets. Tiene la, la imagen on the top of a lady with some headsets. And uh, it's divided in like five or six questions. And you, you can play it as many times as you want, okay? So it says, listen to the recording and answer the questions. What's the topic about is meeting new friends, okay? It's meeting new friends. So what's the woman's name? That's the first one. Is it Jane? Is it Jenny or Julie? Where is the woman from originally? Chile, Argentina, or the United States? 
How long did the man live in California before they moved overseas? Overseas significa al otro lado del charco. Okay. If you, if you are from uh, El Salvador and you go to Italy, you go overseas, ¿verdad? Al otro, a otro continente. Okay. Overseas, over there. And 17 years old, seven, yeah, 17 years, 10 years, seven years. What's the man studying? Biology, psychology, or physics? Física. El mismo caso, ¿verdad? Physics is the same case as logistics, Rocío. All right? Physics. Física en inglés se escribe physics con una S. Okay? And then, what's the woman's job? A sales, sales, not sales. No me vaya a decir sales, por favor. It's sales representative, repre, 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 representative, represent, re, 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 representative, or representative. Okay, representative. A computer programmer, a computer, a resectionist, 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 re, 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 resectionist. Okay, and that's it. All right, I think it's only five questions. So the listening, it's all yours. Play, please, and once you're done, o sea, cuando termine, if you want, si ustedes gustan, mándeme el score, crudo, ¿verdad? Cinco de cinco, five out of five, or you get a screenshot, ¿verdad? Or you send the evidence, ¿verdad? Mándeme la evidencia, if you want, in the chat, please, in WhatsApp, if you don't mind, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Teacher, yo no voy a poder hacer eso porque estoy en el teléfono. Um, pero lo puede reproducir en, en su teléfono. Es solo le da al link. Ah, como está, como está en la llamada. Tiene razón. Sí. Ya lo voy a poner, no se preocupe. Ok. Gracias. Yes. I will play it. All right. All right, so I'm waiting for your uh, screenshots, all right? Or just your message on the WhatsApp to see how, how you know, the score you got, okay? Uh, in charge of is the message for Rocio over there. And then you have logistics. And... Uh, All right, thank you, Eduardo. Nice, five out of five, that's great. Sorry, you know, all right. So I'm still waiting for your responses over here. Uh, so one more minute. Okay, thank you. Nice. Um, all right, so thank you, Douglas. Let's see. For what of five, which is okay. Um, thank you, Miss Rocio. Nice, for, for, for out of five. That's a great number. And thank you for the, the other ones over here. 
Raul, let's see, for our other five. <clears throat> I see that the last question is a little bit tricky, right? Capciosa. Nice. So I guess everyone already uh, finished the listening. Okay. So now I'm going to play it just for us to review. Okay. Once you listen to this, uh, I'm going to send you again to the breaker rooms so you can practice. Okay. So that's the deal over here. Let me stop sharing this screen. And I'll go back to the main tab. And here we go again. All right. So now everyone, please uh, turn up your uh, volume. I'll do the same over here. And uh, I'll take you from there. Okay. So just one second over here. Nice. So I'm going to play the listening. Okay. So here we go. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. <clears throat> that was that was quite fast right it was a little bit fast you know just like this okay now let me tell you that the speakers over here are natives okay so they are originally from the united states so the english that you're listening to right now is actually 100 percent united states produce okay so that being said let's take a look at my screen i'm gonna ask you the question and just in general everyone please help me with the response of course, I, I already did number one, two, and three, but you're going to help me with number uh, four and five. So what's the woman's name? She, she, but she said something else, right? What did she say? Uh-huh. Juanita. Juanita, right? She said, right? <laughs> but everyone calls me Jenny, so it's like, okay. So my name is Jose. <laughs> you know, my name is, uh, I don't know, my name is Jose, but every, everyone calls me Joseph. <laughs> Chepe. Chepe, right? Yeah, I mean, it makes, it makes no sense over there. And it gives you the feedback. It's over here, right? It gives you the feedback, all right? Where is the woman fr from originally? Argentina. Argentina. Ah, that explains it all. That explains it all, right? Eso lo explica todo, right? It makes sense. It makes sense. Yes. It's like, you know, Asian people or Chinese people, when they go to the United States, they don't longer uh, call themselves like uh, in their original mm -hmm. names, like Kim Jong Hoon, right? Now they are called, I don't know, uh, Anderson. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, my name is Doug. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so she's an immigrant, as you can see there. But we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. So, how long did the man live in California before they moved overseas? How long significa por cuánto tiempo? How long? Seven years. Yes. Correct. He was only a little child. He was seven, born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Now, the question to you, everyone. Um, what is the, mass, the man studying right now? Psychology. Psychology, psychology right? Yes. That's psychology. Correct. Psychology. Psychology. Uh, psychology. Si usted le pregunta, ¿qué está estudiando? Usted va a decir, I'm majoring in... Physics, engineering, a medic, uh, medical school, Bruja. medicine, and majoring, majoring, ¿verdad? Me estoy, estoy estudiando, estoy. Majoring. And majoring, okay? Majoring. 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 O puede decir, I'm studying, ¿verdad? So that's okay. The last one. 
Sell representative. A sales representative. Sales representative. And then she said, well, I'm working as, 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 as a sales, common, as a sales representative for a computer company for called as a sales representative. Yeah. Come take downtown. 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 Okay, now I'm downtown. gonna I'm gonna play the listening, downtown. you know. I'm gonna play the listening, you know, for all of you. But now I will show you the script. The way I'm gonna start with the, the conversation over there, which I always send to you. All right. Um, let me just one sec, come over here. And uh, let me just go back to the other screen very quickly. A veces me tardo por compartir porque soy cauteloso, you know, and careful. Ya saben con qué, verdad? <laughs> so that's why. So I'm sending this to you, okay, through the chat. Uh, first of all, to uh, one second, please. All right, there you go. I just send the, the material, the access through the uh, Zoom chat, but I'm also uh, sending it through uh, WhatsApp, all right? And here we go. All right, you got it, right? Nice, so I'm playing the listening a second time, but this time you have a um, the script. Now, do me a favor, please. Underline it, this is Subraye, actually write in your notebooks, write in your notebooks or in your cell phone as a word that is new for you or that it's difficult to pronounce or that you don't know how to pronounce or something please, that you that you should add, that you would like to ask me, okay? So just one sec, come over here. And um, let me share the screen again. So one moment. All right. Here we go. So listen up, please. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well... I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. That was very fast, by the way. Okay. Now, uh, any questions for me? Otherwise, let me uh, make the, the uh, groups, groups of three, and then we take it from there. So no questions for me? We're good? Okay. So let's move forward. Teacher. Yes, sir. One, one question. Uh, what is majoring? Majoring, creo que se pronuncia. Yeah, I'm, it means I'm studying. Studying. Okay. But in the university. Okay. You use that when you go to the university. Okay? okay. For example, a, if you are studying, I don't know, medicine, you will say I'm majoring in psychology. Usted, estoy sacando la carrera de... Exactly. And that, that's how you say it. Okay, major. Because you can also say, my major is... Okay, mi carrera es... My major, con J, ¿verdad? With J, is medicine, engineering, psychology, physics, education, etc., etc. Major. Okay? Esa es la forma, digamos, gringa de decir, yo estoy estudiando o mi carrera es... No, no va a decir, my career is. No. Your career is once you're working. Okay? Okay. That's a good question, Juan Carlos. Anybody else? And the different, I have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, the difference in the majority 
bueno, cuando estoy estudiando en el, en, en el colegio, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Studying. Study. Is it study? Yes. Ah, ok. Yeah, this is only for higher uh, studies, ok? Or university studies, ok? Ok. But when you, ah, go to school, you go to school, you say, Douglas, I go to um, Fernando York to school, or I study at, etc. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thank, thanks for asking that, all right? Yes. Ok, thank, thank you. Thank you, all right? And one more question, please. Ok, I guess no questions here. So I'm uh, making the, the sections in here. And let's see how many participants were good. All right. You have been uh, assigned to different people to practice with. So go ahead, please, and do that. Thank you. So uh, Mr. Balta, Jacqueline, Rocio, Cesar, Nelson, Rivas, together, Douglas, Eduardo, Raul, Dolores, Juan Carlos, uh, Flor, Claudia, David, and Catherine. And try to have your camera on, please. Thank you. Hambre. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, hello, teacher. Este, estaba, estaba revisando. That's okay, sir. Eh, Solo cuando, si ustedes comparten la pantalla, tengan cuidado de borrarle la el enlace por cualquier cosa, por favor. Ah, ok, ok. That's a big favor, I'm asking you. <laughs> nice. Hi. Hi. Eh, Rocío. Rocío, you're muted. Una pregunta, perdón que no la hice antes. Eh, cuando Jenny le contesta a Tom, well, originally I'm from Argentina. Eh, um, ¿Por qué no va el I'm, el I'm originally? Y va uh, antes, ¿Por qué no va antes y, y no después? Y no, ¿Por qué no va antes? Uh, yeah, I understand your question. I'm going to answer to you in English first and then in Spanish, in case you need it. It's because originally it's an adverb, and, and adverbs can go anywhere. You can you can say, "Well, I, I'm done. from I'm I from am. I'm from Argentina originally," okay. or "I'm done. originally from Argentina," or "Originally I'm from Argentina." Like I can say, sometimes I watch TV, I I watch TV sometimes, or I sometimes watch TV. Cualquiera de las tres es la correcta. Yes, it doesn't really matter because it's an adverb. It's just telling you uh, oh, yeah, you like the place she was born, de donde nació ella. It's just a compliment. Mm -hmm. That's why. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Nice. All right. Get to practice, please, if you don't have any other question. That's the idea. Thanks. You can take turns. Okay. Take turns. Okay. Thank you. Tom. Okay. Hi. I... Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. Hi. It. Uh -huh. It's okay. Sí. It... Ah, entonces no, no de contestar, sino que de. Practice. De practice, practice the practice. conversation. Practice the conversation. That's it. Okay. Ah, okay. Empiezo. Eh, ¿Quién empieza? Va, voy a empezar yo con, con quién. Go ahead. With uh, Jan, with uh, Anna and Anna hey. Jansky, right? If you don't okay. mind. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. Hi. Manda. Ajá, está bien, usted primero. Yeah, you're Tom. Okay, okay. Hi. I don't think we've uh, met. Perdón. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Met. No, 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 hold on. No. No, hold on, hold on. Es que estaba a mandarles. Yeah, I don't think we met. Yeah, we've met. We've met. Solo diga, we've, we've, con una F. We've, we've met. We've met. Mm -hmm. Ok, hi. I don't think uh, we've met. My name is Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, hi. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. 
My name is Juanita, but everybody uh, call me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Um, well, original, originally. Originally. I am origi originally, mm -hmm. I am from Argentina, but, but with movie to the United States uh, when I was about five years old. Mm -hmm. My parents now now live in representative for computer company Carl Comtech downtown. No kidding, my brother worked there too. Hey, Works Eduardo. there too. Qué, qué buena pronunciación tiene. Yeah, he, he, he's very, Eduardo is very fluent, right? Sí. Yeah. You're very fluent. Uh, buena pronunciación. Yes, tiene. sí, yeah, es bueno. That's, yeah, that's good. I, I, I have a question. From Eduardo. Uh, from yeah, Fresno. Uh, <laughs> from Fresno. <laughs> so, Eduardo, where are you originally from? <laughs> yeah, Fresno. Fresno, San Salvador. <laughs> Fresno, Salvadorian. No, you're from California, by California of Salutan, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Avenida California. The north of Chalate. Yes. Yeah, so, so, what's the question you have, sir? Eduardo? Yeah. Yes. I, I. No, no. Where is the. the... What is the meaning? What is the significado, verdad? Yeah, what's the meaning? The... Ay, pero me quitó la mía. Quiero ver de overseas. 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 O, o cómo, se, cómo se dice? Overseas. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Overseas. Así, overseas. Ah, sí, overseas. Eh, y donde está la contracción, por ejemplo, we, apóstol, be, with. With. Ajá. Yes. With. Yeah, you said, but but in reality, when you say fast, you don't pronounce it. We just say, I don't yeah, think yes. we met. We, I don't think we, we met. met. I don't think we met. We so. met. Is uh, it pronunciaría? We, we have met. No, we have met, we, yes. But you say, we met. We met. So, uh, lo omite. You know, you skip it. You don't say it. You, 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 okay. Sí, porque en otra parte también se ve una contracción similar. Yeah, it's like we have. Nos hemos conocido. Aquí también donde dice you live. Uh -huh, you lived in exactly here. Uh, what is it? Uh... Un poquito más arriba. Arriba de Corea. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit. Uh, the United States, exactly. No, then they say yeah, where are some from of the where are where are some of the place you believe it. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, I got it. Jenny, oh, yeah. Uh, there are some Jenny, of the places yeah, you Jenny. live. You live. You live. Exactly. Jubilee. You lived. You've lived. You've lived. You've lived. You've, you've, but you don't have to say it, actually. You've lived. Okay. You lived. What are some of the places you've lived? Okay. You've lived. Yes. Okay. Overseas. Is, overseas. Is como lado, overseas. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. Overseas. Lo dice mostly, así se dice. Mostly, most, mostly, most, mostly, mostly, mostly. You say mostly. We were mostly. Mostly, we were overseas. Uh, mo mostly uh, we were overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, in Okinawa, Japan. De hecho, en el, en el listening, they don't say Okinawa, right? Mm, no. And they, yeah. they go Japan, and then uh, we were transferred back to the United States three years ago. We spent 10 years. Aquí una el sonido. You know? Join the sound. Spent 10 years. Spent, spent 10 years. years. We spent 10 no tiene years. que decir spent. Luego 10 years. No, spent 10 years in Korea. Spent. Germany, etc. Spent, et spent 10 mm. years. Okay, okay. I sent this image oh. to the WhatsApp. Maybe you can use this one. It's in the WhatsApp already. All right. Okay. Did you practice? I mean, did everybody practice? Eduardo, Douglas, Raúl, and Eduardo, etc. You, you, got, you got a sí, switch, sí. right? Yes. Así está. Switch. I, algo champepeado, pero ahí lo dije. <laughs> ah, y... That's okay. All right. <laughs> if you like, because uh, I'm waiting for the other ones. 
let's practice until uh let's see two more minutes let's say and then uh 9 22 we come back to the main station please okay okay all right uh can you pass hey, but uh hi how about how about you, how are, how are you? you? what do you how about you how about you what about you how about you? I'm working on SAS presentative for Cupid. Well, guess well. A saber. Bueno. Bueno. Well. Bueno. Okay. Bueno. Ah, bueno. 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 I'm, I'm work, working, working as SAS presentative. Representative. For computer company called Comtech downtown. Comtech, tech, tech. Comtech, 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 down. Comtech, downtown. La C y la H, la C y la H es una K. Es una K, ok. Comtech, downtown. No kidding, my brother works there too. Ok. Now, uh, but the best way that you can practice this is you take terms. Hágalo como una conversación, ¿verdad? No sé, Juan Carlos is Tom, and then uh, Dolores is uh, Jenny, y así van, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, o mitad y mitad, digamos, Tom and, and, and Dolores, and then uh, Tom and Flor, for example, right? Okay, It's okay. Up to you. But I have to go, you know? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a tourist over here. <laughs> okay. O sea, yo, yo voy a hacer ton y llegamos hasta Majorin en Sicolid How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working on sales representative for computer company called Con Tech Down Don ¿Cómo es Downtown. 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 <laughs> no kidding, my brother works there too. Uh -huh. Downtown. Ah, ya lo tenemos en vivo. Yes, sir. Sí. <laughs> de, hecho, de hecho, la mandé al chat de WhatsApp. Es sure, Bobo. <laughs> I'm a tourist, you know, pasando iba. <risa> y esta ya era la segunda o tercera vez. Ah, sí, pasando, hijo. <risa> <risa> nice. Vaya, quizás un, un, un par de cositas ahí de pronunciación. Uh, listen, listen to me, pues. Ya con esta, okay. me, con esta me despido, dicen. <risa> ok, uh, esto cuesta un poquito. Originally, originally, originalmente. And then we have um, uh, majoring, may, majoring, ma majoring, and majoring, majoring, psychology. How about you? How about you? Y tú, ¿qué tal? Y vos? Y tú? Okay. So uh, how about you? Um, and then tech. La C y la H en inglés es una K. Okay. Okay. La C y la H en inglés casi siempre es una K. Así se pronuncia. Por eso es que usted dice, por eso es que usted dice en school. CH, school. ¿Ok? Sería Comtech. Comtech, downtown. No, no hay que pronunciarla tanto de Comtech. No, solo Comtech, uh -huh. downtown. Comtech. Solo, solo no hay que decir Comtech, downtown. No. Uh -huh. <ríe> ok. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, and then, eh, no kidding, kidding. La D. Casi siempre se hace ere, ere, no kidding, no kidding. or no kidding, right? No kidding, no kidding, right? No kidding, kidding. Okay, now let's go back to the main station then because we got to continue practicing, all right? Teacher. Yes. Okay. Catherine. How do you say, um, when do you say you be? Ah, el contractado, uh -huh. contractado. Vaya, como la primera, aquí ve. En la primera que dice Tom, uh -huh. with Matt. Si quiere ser correctísima, lo va a decir with, with, así como v, 
como que está soplando algo. Pero en realidad, si está contractado, lo han puesto así para que no se pronuncie. ¿Ok? Um, y usted lo va a decir, I don't think we met. Y no, y no es que usted está hablando mal, sino que así es el idioma. O sea, se saltan sonidos. ¿Ok? Es como una abreviación. Es una abreviación, yeah. es una contraction. Ok. okay. A contraction order. All right. So, let's go back then, please. Ok. All right, thank you. Como fueron los últimos que estuve con ustedes, son los primeros acá y se cumple, ¿verdad? Es bíblico, ¿verdad? <risa> ya me va a querer un rayo por andar de sacrilegio. <risa> All right. Nice. Three more in the house. Nice. Ok. Nice. David is coming back over here. And all right. When you close, when you close the uh, the rooms, o sea, cuando se cierran los rooms, so, tienen 60 segundos. If you still need to practice, quédense los 60 segundos, verdad? Pero en este caso ya teníamos que regresar. Okay. Nice. All right. So almost everyone is in the house. So I guess everybody's in the house. Now I'm gonna ask this as a voluntary action. So can I have two volunteers please that can help me practice this conversation in front of the class so we can move on with the class over here. Somebody says me. Can I have only two volunteers please that can practice this in front of the class? Same conversation over there. Like somebody says over there, algo uh, chanchepeado, like you said, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, so Juan Carlos will be the first one. And who else, please? Quien dice yo? Who says me? All right. We'll, all right, so let's do something in here. Uh, Ana Yancy, you're going to practice uh, the first half, la primera parte. Y de ahí, si gusta, Flor, yo le voy a indicar cuando usted continúe la conversación con Juan Carlos, all right? But first of all, okay. Okay. Juan Carlos and Anayansi, and then Juan Carlos and Flor, all right? So uh, Juan okay. Carlos, uh, hasta, quiero ver, over here, hasta aquí, all right? Go ahead, please, Juan Carlos. Yo llego hasta, hasta donde dice, oh yeah, hasta ahí. Usted hasta over the place, until here. Look at the screen. Ah, okay. Yes, until here. And then Yemi, okay. until you leave. All right? Please. Ah, okay. Uh, and then. Go ahead, please. Hi. I don't think we meet. My name is Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita. But everybody call me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So where are you from? Well, originally, I am from Argentina, but, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Uh, my parents now live in Chile. That, that's where they, they first me. How about your tongue? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we move all there. We move all over the place. Oh yeah, where are some of the place you you have lived? All right, so. Uh, Tom, you continue uh, over here, like oh, mostly we were, exa and then uh, Floor, you continue with the, the rest of Jenny, okay? Okay. Thank so okay. thank you, All right. Juan Carlos, continue, please. Mostly. Mostly, 
We were overseas. We spent them years in Korea, Germany, and Okinawa, Japan, and then we we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow, it sounds like you have an um, interest line. So what do you do now? I am I'm a, a university student. Oh, really? What did you do is doing? Mm -hmm. I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, see, yes. Well, I'm working as sales representative for computer company, Khaled Com, Com, Como me dijo ahí, teacher? Downtown. Come take. Come take. downtown. No killing. My brother was there too. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Juan Carlos, uh, Flor, and Anayansi. Now, take a look at this, please. Since then, since my father worked for the military, since, 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 since has two minutes. Desde, verdad. Significa desde, no, pero en este caso significa ya que. All right? Ya que. Ah, okay. okay. Now, but look, look at the context. Look since, at the context. Since. It says, entonces, como mi papá trabajaba para el ejército, nos tuvimos que mudar. A otro lugar. Okay. 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 So you got you gotta be very careful. And something I was telling you. Meaning, sure. Yes, sir. It's since or signs. Since, since, since. Oh, okay. If you say sign, is señal, like the movie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, and does it? No, uh, uh -huh. Yes, sir. And since, eh, no es desde que mi papá trabajó para la milicia, you know? no es. No, eh, aquí en este caso significa ya que mi papá trabajaba para el ejército, nos mudamos a otro lugar. <coughs> ah, ok, ok. Eh, si yo le pregunto, <laughs> when, when, uh, no, how long, how long, uh, are you studying English? So, ¿hace cuánto tiempo estás estudiando inglés? You, you can tell me since one since. week. Since one week ago. Since one week ago. Y así me quiere decir. Ahora, since I'm learning English, okay, I know how to how to say the numbers, etc. Ya que. Oh, okay. Exactly. Okay. So that's a little bit different. Okay, a little bit. Different. Depending okay. context. Depending on the context, sir. Exactly. Depending on the context, right? Uh, pronunciation tip over here. Fíjense en esta línea de Jenny que dice, oh yeah, where are some of the places you've lived? Eh, this is a contraction, okay? Lovely. Y por ende, eh, esto se omite en una, una, en, en una regular speech. O sea, cuando lo dice rápido, solo mm -hmm. dice you lived. Pero si lo quiere pronunciar, va a decir you've, you've, You, you've, you've, como que se muerde, ¿verdad? So it's difficult. Usted, usted no va a estar pensando, ok, tengo que morder los labios para decir esto. You can say it there, right? So, Pero no okay. está mal decir, des, o sea, no está mal omitirlo. Exacto. Eh, usted, y, la, y la pronunciación no cambia. Ni that's in change. You live. De hecho, ni lo capta mucho. You, oh, yeah, where, where are some of the places you've lived? Uh, you've lived. Yeah, you've lived. Teacher, the, this you sentence believe. is in past. Or no. This yeah, sentence yeah. is in something called present perfect, which is something you don't have to worry about yet. ¿Verdad? O sea, no tiene que preocuparse. Es un, es un tiempo que se llama presente perfecto. Presente present perfect. perfect. Right? Okay. Yes. Which you are going to study like in two or three uh, modules. But right now, you know the context. You, you, you know the context over here. Es el español que dice el ado e ido, ¿verdad? Trabajado, comido, sufrido, etc. Mm, okay? Okay, okay. Yes, that one. That's the one. Okay. But don't worry about that. But since you know, this is like a language. So it's a mix of everything. But the focus, okay? O sea, lo más importante es the simple present, you know, to talk about jobs, talk about your occupations, talk about your studies, uh, except, talk about your life, okay? 
that's the simple pressure. O sea, that's the topic for today. Yeah, no solamente el trabajo, sino que what you, what you are studying, my memory. All right. This is a great conversation. How about you? ¿Qué tal usted? ¿Qué tal tú? How about you? How about you? Okay. Uh, one more thing. I, I think it's a good vida. Before I forget, uh, you, have to, you have to join or link the sounds whenever possible. All right. Whenever possible, you have to join the sounds or you have to link the sounds. Like in this case, like in this case, I'm a university student. Take a look at this. Ama. Como cuando dicen allá, ¿verdad? Ama, ¿verdad? You say, ama, I'm a university student. I'm a university student. Y no es incorrecto que lo una. So it's okay. So go ahead, please, and do it. Do it, please. That's okay. It's part of the language. Entre más sonidos una, va a poder hablar de una forma más rápida y más natural, which is the most important thing, more natural way. Como en este caso, fíjense donde dice until, miren el cursor. We live there until I, until I was seven, until I was seven. Unimos la S de was y la S de, de seven, and that's it, all right? So, and that's a tip, that's a tip, okay? Children learn this, you know, uh, naturally, but we have to actually learn this consciously, okay, consciously. A question that Rocio asked me about originally, un adverbio can be, in the be at the beginning, in the middle, or, or at the end of a statement. Un adverbio solo es un apéndice que nos acompaña el verbo o nos, has, nos da más sentido, you know, to the sentence. Over here, well, I'm from Argentina, pero si ella le pone originally, es como, ah, originalmente, yo soy de yo nací, ¿verdad? Soy nativa. But she can also say, Juanita, right? Well, I'm from Argentina originally, pero always, always, almost always, casi siempre, eh, an adverb goes at the end, porque usted al final piensa el énfasis que le va a dar a la oración, ¿ok? So an adverb like originally, perfectly, completely, etc., uh, go at the end. Most of the time, but it's your decision. So it's up to you. Usted decide, ¿verdad? Pero lo puede decir. Uh, well, originally, I'm from Argentina. Well, I'm from Argentina, originally. Or, or well, uh, I'm uh, originally from Argentina. Well means bueno. Bueno, perdón, bueno. That's what it is. All right, let's keep moving forward, please. Let me stop sharing th this screen. And I guess you don't have any questions for me. All right. And right now, since it's 9.38, it's almost, let's see, 20 more minutes for us to uh, go. Let me ex clarify a couple of things about the platform. So look at my screen, please. Just give me, let's see, two or three minutes. Necesito clarificar esta cuestión de por acá. Y siéntase libre de interrumpirme. So, and, and for that, I'm going to do it in English, but uh, eh, let's see over here. I'm going to go to course. All right. I got the same view as you, uh, my friend. Last time I didn't mention to you. So no les mencioné, I didn't mention to you that for every section, it says homework, okay? And it says five questions. But in reality, what you have is four or uh, it's five different tasks. Entonces, si usted se va a la section one, homework number one, and this one, you know it already, ¿verdad? Ya se dieron cuenta, pero necesito clarificarlo. You have uh, uh, the video conference, okay? Pero a mí me parece la número cuatro, no sé por qué. I'm just gonna go to the first one over here. Okay. My point is the following. I think you can do this in five minutes. You see one, two, three, four, five questions, and then you go submit them everything. And then it, it, you can do it as many times as you want. So it has no limits. And then you just go next, all right? Este es el video que está en YouTube, all right? But you can access it from here as well, if you miss the class. Then you go uh, homework number two, it's basically the same thing, this topic. It's a piece of cake, by the way, right now, verdad? Es un juego de niños. You got the other one, all right? Okay, si usted son de los primeros, si está puntual en clase, ¿verdad? No digo que es tardista o la latecomer. You recognize the image in every single uh, YouTube. You see? Así van a comenzar nuestras clases. Okay. And that's the first one, ¿verdad? Algunos ahí son famosos, igual que yo, ¿verdad? Aparece ahí. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Verdad? 
Así que la próxima vez hay que peinarnos. Me cara como me hizo, ¿verdad? Está yuca, si no tenemos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In homework number five, you know, this is the one I did, you know, just as a test and see if everything was working. You click on submit and it gives you the answers over there. O sea que son cinco tareas cortas para completar homework number one of section one. Y así sucesivamente, you know, and then you continue with section number two. Y algo que quiero dejar por sentado, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a tener toda la semana para hacer la homework, es decir, section two, que es acerca de simple present. That means that by the end of this week, everybody should be able to complete the uh, number two uh, section in the five tasks o las cinco tareas perfectly, ¿verdad? Todas deberían de sacarse 10 o 90 o lo que sea because that's the practice. And if you have any questions, ahí donde ocupamos los miércoles de las 10 a las 11 de la noche, ¿verdad? No para hablar de otras cosas. Of course, we can talk about <laughs> other teams, right? But I can give you feedback about this. Okay? No de la alianza que okay. le ganó, ¿verdad? A la, a la águila. <laughs> okay. And then, same thing, right? Solo para clarificar, eh, this is what we have in here. Okay? That's it. And discussions, o sea, no se preocupen, no van a ser okay. todas las semanas. We don't have discussions. What's mandatory, y esto sí lo quiero recalcar, para que usted apruebe el módulo, es necesario, ¿verdad? Obviamente, que usted se conecte a las clases casi al 100%, mínimo porcentaje de aprobación es 80% a las clases, ¿verdad? O sea, cada minuto cuenta que usted esté ahorita interactuando con nosotros, ¿ok? Aunque vaya en el carro, conéctese. Eh, escuche la clase, aunque no se una a los breaker rooms, ¿verdad? No importa. Sí. That's okay. La, lo, lo, cada minuto cuenta, créame. Y luego, eh, la plataforma tiene que completarla, si es posible, al 100%. Si usted se conforma con el 80%, that's okay. Aunque yo siempre lo que pienso es que esto solo es un requisito. What matters is that you know that you're learning, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que importa, que usted está aprendiendo. Ok, that's what matters. Yeah, yeah. Y si usted se conecta a tiempo, yo sé que hay inconvenientes, nos ayuda, me ayuda a mí y le ayuda a sus compañeros para practicar. Porque si se fija, esta clase se trata de que usted practique. Yo casi no hablo. Ok. And that's the point over there. If you don't have any questions, let's, you know, keep moving forward. Right? Así que desde ya, ya está la tarea. A ver si usted puede completar toda la plataforma en un solo sentón. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, that's okay. You're free to do it. <laughs> Se vale, se vale soñar, vea. Okay. Como soñamos ir al mundial. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Ajá. Yes, go ahead. Este, con respecto al, al, al refuerzo que, que menciona, yo vi este, la solicitud que habían hecho, ¿verdad? Pero yo pensé que ustedes iban a seleccionar por grupos los días para refuerzo. Ese es opcional de cada, de cada uno de nosotros. O sea, si yo me quiero quedar, por ejemplo, el, el miércoles a... Uh, por alguna duda para practicar me puedo quedar, no necesariamente hay un listado o un grupo específico de hecho, sí no fíjese Juan Carlos, este grupo que se está viendo a continuación, creo que está viendo la pantalla de, 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 de la ah, okay. sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ahorita, sí. este miércoles estos son digamos los elegidos <risa> este, ah, okay. para, para este miércoles the chosen one, pero si digamos que César le quiere hacer ahí el trueque Usted le dice, mire César, eh, yo no, César le dice, oh, no o cualquiera, este, tome mi lugar. Lo, lo que yo no puedo por cuestiones de fiscalización es tener a dos personas en el mismo tiempo, en el mismo horario. ¿Ok? Porque Insafora, ah, okay. Insafora ah, así, okay. así lo pide y, adem y además se pierde la naturaleza del one on one, ¿verdad? Solo es el uno a uno. ¿Ok? Pero, thanks for okay. asking, eh, Juan Carlos. Uh, so, that being said, ahora que tenemos a Full House, César, you start on Wednesday. Si no puede, avíseme y dele, dele lugar a alguien más, ¿verdad? La idea es que alguien más esté, que no solamente esté yo, ¿verdad? Que me estén pagando de puro choto, pues. Ok, yeah. ok. Yeah, that, I'm serious, I'm serious. There you go, Mr. Hernández, eh, Mr. Eduardo, Saraí en Baltasar. Aquí yo fácilmente, no es que le voy a hacer lo de la plataforma, pero I can guide you through. Yo le puedo dar luces, ¿verdad? All right? That's the point. Thank you. So, let's continue then. With, with what we have in here. Uh, I'm sharing again the presentation in here. Ya les voy a mandar esta imagen, ¿verdad? Donde están estos dos uh, cartoons. So you remember this. Eduardo, Saraí, and then Baltasar. 
I don't choose this, this, is, this, this list is given to me. No crean que es como que, mmm, prefiero tener a fulanito primero. No, 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 esto me lo dan a mí. <laughs> ok, para que no me vayan a linchar. So let's continue here then. Eh, let me just one second. This thing is not working. And yeah. All right. Ahora vamos a hacer un examen de conciencia y esto no es broma. Lo voy a decir como broma, ¿verdad? Pero no es broma. Eh, levante su mano derecha o su mano izquierda y no sé. <ríe> o levante ambas. No es broma. And now we're going to do, let's see, a, a, a self-assessment, una autoevaluación. All right? So look at my screen, please. There you go. Now, with your microphone muted, o si quiere lo hacemos cantado, ¿verdad? Todo, ¿verdad? Como niños buenos o niñas buenas. And then we're going to say, with your microphone muted, now I can talk about what I do at my workplace and to say my occupation. You know, do that internally, please. Okay. Si usted dice independently, que no necesita nadie, with occasional help, or only with, with help, ya sea del internet, del teacher, de su hijo, su hija, uh, we, we still need to improve over here. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Now, uh, now I can provide information about myself in others' names and occupations. Provide significa dar, ¿verdad? Proveer. Independently, with occasional help, only with help. If you can uh, talk about your information, cell phone, WhatsApp, okay, uh, anything about you, that's okay. You're fine. You, you can talk about your occupation. Lo que les dejé en la discusión, ¿verdad? No crean que es solamente para dejar de tarea. All right. Now I can provide and request spelling of names, last names, and other information. Now say it aloud, please, independently with occasional help. Only with help. Yo espero que ustedes marquen independently or with occasional help. Y si no es así, verdad, y nos vemos el miércoles. <laughs> All right. Nice. So let's continue over here. Okay. So unit two. Finally, unit two. Okay. In this unit, you can say, I will be able to. Yo seré capaz de. I will be able to. Um, Describe my job position and the activities that I perform every day at work. Some of you are already advanced, okay? Why? Because of the discussion. Si usted hizo la discusión, ya matamos dos pájaros de un solo tiro. If you did the discussion in the platform, okay? So that's the idea. This is, this is a process, remember, it's a process. No es el que llega primero, sino que saber llegar, ¿verdad? Y, y llegar entero, ¿verdad? So that's the idea. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue. So listen to your teacher. So it could be me, right? Read the following job or positions, then match them with the activities they perform. If these uh, occupations or if, the, or if these uh, jobs, you know, have nothing to do with what you do, that's okay. Just pay attention to the pronunciation. But if you no hace nada de esto, no vive de nada de esto, that's okay. Now, just listen to me, please. So we say a bookkeeper. A, B, financial analyst. Yes, I know. Let's see. I think Eduardo, right? You uh, Are you the uh, the financial analyst? If I'm not mistaken, Eduardo, is that you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I remember. Yes, thank you. And then human resources specialist, insurance agent, software engineer, digital marketing manager. And that's it. Some of you are managers. Some others are uh, assistants, right? Which is okay. Yes. Yeah, I remember uh, reading a post in the discussion from Jacqueline and then he, he, she tells that she likes her job because she learns something new every day. Am I correct, Jacqueline? Okay, um, she has a problem maybe with this. Okay, so uh, now what you're gonna do now is you, you will try to match the uh, the occupation with the description over here. For example, keep track of the financial out accounts of companies, know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Pongámosle cuidado, por favor. Como decimos, pongámosle queso. Policies, políticas de la empresa. Regulations, okay? Employees, 
vamos a ir aquí full screen. Right? Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ya le hicimos un acercamiento. So listen to this, please. Uh, help people and companies against, against financial loss and manage, manage risks. Esto veanlo más que todo como una práctica de pronunciación si usted no se dedica a eso or if it's not going to be useful for you. Okay? At least. And by the way, you don't have to remember all of these words or all of this vocabulary. O sea, no necesitan aprendérselo ahorita. Help people. Ahorita solo estoy pronunciando, ¿verdad? No estoy clarificando nada, por cierto. Help people and businesses, businesses, businesses manage their finances. Okay? Create and advertise the company over the social media. Social media. If you think that there are some words that can be useful for you, anótela, ¿verdad? Si hay palabras que son útiles, ¿verdad? Con cuidado manejemos ahí, Douglas. <laughs> you don't have to answer me. You don't have to answer me, yes. sir. You don't okay, have to okay. answer me. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. Uh, all right. Design and develop different softwares. Okay. Once again, no tiene que aprenderse esta, ¿verdad? Ahorita solamente it's just a practice over here. Ya vamos a regresar. En un instante vamos a regresar. All right. But in just to uh, save some time, because I think this is the last thing we're going to do. Let me send this to you in the chat para que comencemos, ¿verdad? So you can advance right now, all right? So you can advance over here. Let me send this to you, okay? No lo voy a poner a pronunciar ni nada, ¿verdad? Porque en realidad, I think we, we can do something else, all right? Uh, let me just one second. So I'm gonna send this to you para que lo resuelvan ustedes solitos. And then we could move forward. All right. This is no homework or something just like that. Eh, algo que les puedo decir es que aunque no se aprendan las palabras, pero es importante practicar la pronunciación because if you don't if you don't know how to say it, but at least you can uh, I, I I think identify or recognize the sound of the word, okay, or the pronunciation. All right. So that's all I'm saying over here. So let's continue. Okay, next screen. Ya vamos a regresar a este ejercicio. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do, because we still have uh, 10 more minutes before the class is over, listen and practice what's in your bag. Okay. Sometimes this, this only applies, you know, to women, but also I think for men, like what's in your wallet? Bag es una bolsa, ¿verdad? Okay, just a bag. Como la bolsa de la basura, but in this case, it's a bag like this one, right? A bag, ¿verdad? Un bolso. Eh, pero bolso femenino, en realidad, you say purse, 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 okay? Let me stop sharing this, and um, let me introduce you to this topic over here, all right? One second. Vaya. Eh, here we go. We gotta clarify, right? Como aclarando conceptos, ¿verdad? No estoy haciendo campaña ni nada, okay? Um, eh, purse, ¿verdad? Es el, es el bolso, pero femenino, right? It's just for women. It's a purse. You don't, you don't say purse ni purse. You say purse, como con una E, all right? And uh, billetera, all right? Is wallet, 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 okay? Billetera. Billetera, billetera de hombre. Exacto, billetera. Esa es la de, de hombre. Orle. Billetera, right? Yeah, that's for men, right? Billetera. Orle. And then you just say back, that's in general, all right? Este, digamos, en, para que entendamos, es unisex. <laughs> back, back. <laughs> it's a back, it's back. Unisex, it's a unisex back. Right? yeah. And then you say a backpack, but that's different. A backpack, mal llamado o bien llamado mochila, ¿verdad? Backpack. Backpack, right? It does a backpack over there. And what else I can say to you? I think that's pretty much it, right? It's a purse over there. Okay? It's a wallet and a bag. Like, su el monedero es eso, ¿verdad? Es el money bag. Money, money bag, ¿verdad? La bolsita del... Money bag. Money bag over there, exactly. And, and um, por ejemplo, esto no, no, no va al caso, ¿verdad? Pero el piggyback es su alcancía, 
¿verdad? No la que tenemos en la cabeza, ¿verdad? Que nos hemos rajado, ¿verdad? Pero... Sí. <laughs> That's something else, right? Yeah, me, right? Over here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm serious. Okay, so that's something that you need to clarify. So purse is for women. Wallet is, you know, where you keep your money and your documents. And then um, bag is neutral. Okay, so una bolsa like this one, you know. And then backpack and piggy bag is la alcancilla. Okay, alcancilla where you keep your money, where, where you keep your savings, you know, at home. Okay. So in here, what do you keep in, in, in your bag, by the way? What do you keep over there? You keep a hairbrush, a laptop, a cell phone, ¿verdad? Unos viejitos, por cierto. A wallet, okay? You see a wallet. Obviously, you have wallets. And, and this, I need to clarify this. Sometimes there are like wallets for women, right? Like this one. But generally, this one is just for men. Obviamente, usted no va a dar un purse, ¿verdad? Uh, but you can have a, a backpack, right? Keys, eh, I can tener cuidado con esa palabra. Keys, and I'm gonna go full screen over here. All right, let me go full screen right here. Eh, tenemos tiempo todavía. We still got time. All right. Okay. This one. Keys. Dígalo con Z de z, no de zorro, ¿verdad? Keys. Eh, para que no vaya a estar diciendo besos, ¿verdad? Si yo le digo, uh, no sé, uh, give, me, give me the keys or give me some keys, uh, or give me the keys, es como, deme el beso, ¿verdad? Este, you gotta say keys, 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 las llaves, all right? Keys. A camera, a camera, a wallet, okay? Sunglasses, a cell phone, right? A hairbrush, okay? A laptop, laptop. Okay, sunglasses, obviamente porque es, eh, tiene dos piezas, right? That's why you say sunglasses, you don't say sunglass. An umbrella, an umbrella, right? And with this, I'm introducing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, el artículo A, you know, a camera, a wallet, a cell phone, a laptop, okay? When it's plural, more than one, you don't say a keys, you know? You don't say a keys in there. Like... Uh, I work with a many, a many people, right? You don't say that, right? Okay? You don't say that, for example, right? Et cetera. If it's a um, sonido de vocal, a vowel sound, usted dice an, okay? An umbrella. Pero si dice universidad, a university, you, you. Si es dictongo, la U, no dice an, ¿verdad? Dice uh, a, okay? A university. A university. También va a escuchar usted acentos distintos como en Arizona podrían, o, o en Texas, you know, en Texas, they can tell you a hairbrush, a laptop, a cell phone, a wallet, a camera, an umbrella, right? An umbrella, ¿ok? Estamos hablando del sonido, ¿verdad? Porque la U tiene dos sonidos, ¿verdad? Como U and U, university, ¿ok? So, let's continue with this. Now, if you don't have any questions, let's move forward over here. As you can see, it says articles, vowel sound, a consonant sound, okay? Uh, this is a book. This is, uh-huh. What will be this one? An English book. An English, an English. An, an English. English. Yes, sir, English because book. it's vowel, porque es consonant, porque es vocal, perdón. Oh, okay. okay? This is a, uh, a, 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 a novel. A notebook. Exactly. Number two. This is an eraser. An eraser. An eraser. An and if you an pay eraser. attention, if you pay attention, estamos uniendo el sonido de la de la an erase mm -hmm. an eraser. Ana. Estamos diciendo Ana. An eraser. An eraser. Okay. Yes. An eraser. This is a marker. O, la, o people can also say this is a marker, but as you can sonar así pique, ¿verdad? This is a marker. <laughs> a marker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious over here. And this is a, a clock. clock. This is a clock. clock. A clock. 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 Remember, clock. remember that el que está en la pared, if it's in the wall, it's clock. The one you use in your rest, you know? Watch. It, it's Watch. A watch. Correct. Watch. Now, okay. uh, Let's, let, let's do something because it's time to go. 
and with this we say goodbye. Eh, mute it over there. No, vamos a, no importa si nos pasamos dos minutos acá. Eh, lo voy a mandar en grupos pairs or groups, groups of three. All you gotta do is, eh, la van a anteponer, a board, a book bag, a chair, et, et cetera, et cetera, and then you're gonna spell it out, okay? So two practices. You're gonna write, you're gonna say an or a, and then you're gonna spell this out, okay? Are we clear? Yes. All right. So very quickly because we don't really have the time. Y perdón que todavía los tengo acá, pero tenemos que cerrar el el, el ciclo, right? We gotta close this. Uh, Sixteen participants and. So join the rooms, please, and, and I'm sending this to you right now, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ya, ya lo mandó a teacher, sí. Ah, ok, yes, yes. lo tengo. Number one is a or an, ¿verdad? Y number two is a spell. Yes, sir. Ok. Yes. No sé si vamos uno a uno compañeros o, o tres a tres uno a uno yo digo que uno cada uno ok David okay. Um, no he entendido muy bien qué es lo que vamos a hacer vamos a vamos a seleccionar en base a lo que acaba de explicar el teacher si anteponemos la palabra a o la palabra an dependiendo ah, okay. de si comienza en, en vocal o en uh -huh. Uh -huh. o en consonante exactly uh -huh. comienzo okay. <laughs> okay. this is a book yes okay. comienzo yo en la segunda perdón si dejo de compartir porque tengo que visitar a alguien okay. más ok, okay perfecto All right. Completar, de completar la, las oraciones con or o an. A, an o a, ok. Con a o an. Yeah. <laughs> eh, si gusta, comencemos de una sola verdad. This is a book, okay. this is an English book, this is etc. And then vamos con lo demás y luego lo deletreamos. You spell it out, please. Ok. En la uno, this is a book. Yes. Y en la dos, Claudia, um, this is an eraser. Ok, en la tres, this is um, uh -huh. an English. Ah, uh, English an, book. An, an, porque es vocal. An, an, an. 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 Uh -huh. Sí, this is a marker. This is a marker. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is... A notebook. A notebook, notebook, yes. Si dejo de compartir, disculpen, tengo que visitar a alguien más, ¿ok? Ok. A window. Uh -huh. A window. Ajá, eso es lo único que se llevaría an, o sea, eraser. E eraser, eraser. Correct, correct. Eraser. What about the ones on the top, Cesar? Hola. I'm sorry, what about the ones on the top? El ejercicio A. ¿Qué? Eh, let's, let's try to do is, this. Is, Ah, okay. This is a, a book. A, 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 a book. This is a book. This is a book. Uh -huh. This is a book. This, this. This is an eraser. This is an, an this eraser. Is, an this eraser. Is an eraser. An eraser. Okay. Number three. This is uh, this is an English book. This is an English book. Correct. Uh, this is an English book. Okay. This is this is an market. Okay. 
Uh, this is a market. Uh -huh. This is a, a marker. marker. A market. This is a notebook. This is a notebook. And it, it, this, is, this uh, is a clock. A and clock. This, and this is a clock, correct. And this then clock. since we don't really have the time, I'm going to ask you to come back so we can say hello, goodbye, actually. You know, good night. Good night. Good night. But but let's go back good to the next night. Meeting. But regresemos a la, a la okay. sesión. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Thank you. You know, your classmates are, are, I don't know, inspired, emocionado, porque no regresan. <laughs> they still have 60, 60 seconds, and that's okay. That's good. Ya ve, verdad? Little by little, you know, your, your tongue se va desenredando, you know? Su lengua se va desenredando. Okay, that's the idea. That's the idea. All right? Aquí del corrido decimos, verdad? This is, this is a book, or this is a book. This is an English book. La entonación cuenta mucho, ¿verdad? Entonación. This is a notebook, this is an eraser, this is a marker, and this is a clock. ¿Verdad? De ella sale así, ¿verdad? Por inercia. All right. We have a question. Go ahead. Uh, in the last conversation, um, hay una... Perdón, Jenny hay and Tom. Una, Jenny and Tom. Uh -huh. Hay una frase, hay, un, uh, hay una oh. frase donde... I'm a university student. No sería, I'm an university student. Yeah, that's what I was telling uh, you uh, before, Rocío. It's not the spelling. No es la forma del deletreo. No es porque solo esté una vocal. It's the sound. Okay? Ah, uh, okay. Y, y la U tiene dos sonidos. Tiene de U y tiene un dictongo que es U. Entonces, cuando es, cuando, cuando, cuando es dictongo, se dice A. A university, pero cuando es sonido de U, o sea, un sonido solo vocal, como an umbrella, ok, como en la, en la, en la pantalla anterior, you see this one, le pone el an, an umbrella, si fuera an, si fuera y umbrella, tendría que ser a y umbrella, ok, so, but thanks for asking, All right, thanks for asking, that happens. ok, ah. thank you, bueno, yo una aclaración, entonces, Ajá. si llevara H, no ah, sería, o sea, una H antes tendría que ser, H muda. entonces, ajá, digamos, H muda. Como en honesto. Eh, eh, ajá, sí, en honest. Sería, uh, I am uh, uh, an honest, a uh, an honest. De, ah. O sea que es dependiendo del sonido, ¿verdad? Es de sound, aquí dicen. ¿no? Ah, ok, ok. Aquí está, okay. Sí. Como, en, como en los contratos, ¿verdad? Las letras pequeñas, no se miran. Sí, no, no. <ríe> Aquí está no, no, Marcos. <laughs> vowel sound. Aquí está subrayado. Vowel ah, sound. Okay, okay, It's the sound. Okay. All right. It's not a writing. Yes, sir. But thanks for clarifying that. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid time is up. Hope to see you tomorrow. And see have a good tomorrow. night. Thank you. Good night. You're very welcome. Good Goodbye. night, Thank you. everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Everyone. Everyone. Good, good, night. Night. good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye, everyone.